Hi everybody, my name is David. Thank you for watching Crazy Narcissist Ex-Girlfriend. This is a topic that I've been talking about um, quite a bit lately. I've made a couple other videos, if not two, three more videos about this. And it just keeps coming up in this community. Uh, lots of other channels have totally different stances on this subject, or on this question. And um, I've made mine clear but I'm not trying to just stress my stance. I really would like people to understand this more because it is so important to know what narcissists are. It's going to help you with your own recovery. Your understanding of what they are will help you understand what happened and what you need to do to get better. Um, to say that they're aliens, uh, Jezebel's spirit, Demons, reptilians, all this stuff that I've heard, man, it's just, I don't understand how that explains it. Uh, when people say, I'm sorry, science doesn't explain this for me. But, you know, a uh, 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 story about a demon spirit that lived hundreds of years ago, you know, I, I don't understand how that explains it for you. That's just an explanation, but not really. It's not even an explanation. It's just an opinion. Um, it's a belief. It's faith. Science does explain this. I've explained it in my videos. And if people still don't understand, I understand that I may not be explaining it well. And I understand it's not easy to understand. But you can't give up and just go search for another answer. It's good to get all the information. And if one if some of that information totally is different than the other than all the other information, then you have to decide which one's right. But you can't just look at one and say that's hard to understand. This is easier to understand, so it must be that. That's not the way to do it. And you can do that. Anybody can do that about anything. <clears throat> but it doesn't serve you. I want the explanation to serve you. I want it to help you understand. Science does explain this, but it's just hard to understand. I'm not going to go into the explanation, the scientific explanation. I have, and I'll suggest the videos up here. You guys can go watch it about what actually happens to their brain. I think I've explained it well enough even though people, some people don't understand. Um, I, I Look, this is a personality. People call this a personality disorder. I think of it as a personality deficiency. If you look at what makes up a person's personality or what makes up a human being, you'll see that they are deficient in part of that personality. If a personality, and for sure, a part of your personality is empathy and remorse. Empathy and remorse is housed in the frontal part of your brain. It's also the last part of your brain that develops as a child. Empathy and remorse isn't fully developed until after high school. After, until after your teenage years. That's how long it takes to fully develop empathy. If a child is experiencing massive trauma... That will be the last thing that they develop. They may never develop it. If you don't have empathy towards other people, you do not connect with people. You are missing out a, per a part of yourself. You're missing a part of your personality. So you don't have, they don't have all the tools we have. We hate, I can connect with someone. I can love them, I can receive love, and I can imagine how it is to be them. I can imagine what it's like to feel what they feel. They can't do that. They can't do it. It's not there. They're deficient. They have a personality deficiency. They realize this at some point in their adolescence. <clears throat> and how do they get by? How do they get through with life? If you can't love and you can't receive love, you're missing out on a huge fucking part of life. So what do they replace that with? Attention. They need constant attention. It validates who they are. We get validation through love.
They don't get it. It's to them, love is just attention. So they'll take attention, attention, any kind of attention. You know, they, that makes sense to me. I hope that makes sense to you guys. Um, I mean, that, that, that's it. If you were to take that away from yourself, you're going to do some fucked up shit. You still have to survive. These people still need to make it in the world. They need to figure out how they, how they can do that. Lying. Pretending to be someone you want them to be. And you do want them to be that. You want them to be a good, loving, nice person. But they don't understand that. Right? So they pretend. So that everything goes smoothly. But they still need attention. So they lie to get the attention they need. You need love. So you love to get the love you need. They give you attention. To get attention back. But it's never enough. So they hate you for it. They get mad. They're fucked up. This isn't the devil. Or there'd be millions of devils running around. Millions of Jezebel spirits. There's not millions of Jezebel spirits. Come on, guys. Come on. They're just missing this. That's it. They're missing this. They're missing. They never developed it in their childhood. They, find, they figure out a way to get what they need. And that's lying. Lying, manipulating. They need attention so bad. They have to have the constant attention. They can't stay with one person. They need attention from many other people. So they lie. They cheat on you. <clears throat> they do what they have to do to survive, to get what they want. That's the only way they know how. Some of them are trying to get help. Some of them change. Some of them change, you guys. And they don't feel like they're a Jezebel spirit afterwards. They don't say, oh yeah, I was, I was the devil. Yeah. I know I, I beat this like a dead horse, man, but... Uh, it's just so vitally important to you guys' recovery. And I'm going to keep talking about it. And if you guys, please ask me questions. Let me help you understand. Because I understand this. But it's not always the easiest thing to, to help other people understand. So let me help you understand. Ask me questions. Don't just push this off as, you know, demons, aliens, people from Mars. It's not. These are our loved ones. These are, the, these are our children. These are our sisters and brothers. Okay, they're deficient. They're missing. Part of their brain doesn't work. Some of them have totally different brains than us. Okay, I'm not excusing what they do. They're in control of what they do. Don't get me wrong. They just don't give a shit. They got needs and they're going to go about getting what they need. Okay, and it conflicts with what we need. It conflicts with society. They know that, so they lie. They pretend. They, they hide. They cover and it's fucking damaging. I know that. And they don't understand. They don't get it. They just don't get it. And I want you guys to understand. So please try. Ask me questions. Go look into yourself. Go look out for, for your own self. I, I just don't see, and I don't want a, an ongoing um, argument about this in the comment section. I'm, my opinion won't change. I, I, I'm not going to think this is religion. I'm not going to think this is people from Saturn. And I'm not going to think these are people, reptilian people. Or, I mean, I've heard so many. It's amazing in this community. It's amazing. It's amazing. And then they'll say, well, nothing else explains it. It's like, no, science does. You just don't understand it. Just try to understand it. Try to understand it. Some people need to go to college to understand this. Some people need four to six years of school to understand this. Some people need to get hurt by a narcissist to understand this. And some people still don't understand it. So it's just about understanding, you guys. It's neurology, not psychology. Okay, psychology would be studying the behaviors and why they do that. Neurology, and, that, and that's the problem. Psychologists are the only doctors that don't look at the part of the body they're treating. Right? You, you go to a foot doctor for a foot problem, they look at your foot. Don't they? They x-ray it, they check it out, they feel it, you know. But a psychologist sits you in a chair and judges your behavior. And that's just, this is not right. Behavior is an example of, uh, like, uh, is like an acting out of the problem. Right? And you could have a fucking brain tumor and that psychologist is going to treat you for your crazy behavior and not look at your brain and find out you have a brain tumor. This is neurology, guys. This is the scientific study of the brain. So you start looking at it in that, in that way, you will understand. 
I'm done. Okay, I, I'm probably going to talk about this more in the future, but it's it just because it's so important, you guys. Please try to understand this, okay? Thank you, everybody. Don't forget, love yourself first. Put yourself first, okay? Take care. I'll see you again. Bye-bye. Thanks. Danny Dog Productions.